Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks to Samaya, Dimitri, and, uh, and Headcount, and everybody for being here, and everyone at uh, this beautiful theater for uh, Half Dozen Speed on Saturday night. And I'll... I'd like to close out with this song, and I'll sing this to you now, and I want you to know that wasted woman or not in the front row, it's been a good night. It's always a good night. I'm always very grateful to have this job. I don't take it for granted, and I'll let you know why. <clears throat> because I spent a long, long, long time sucking at this job. <laughs> and I'm driving around the country, wanting to not suck, but still sucking, and performing to zero or one people. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. What's up, Hansel? Just kind of drew off into the bed there. <laughs> it's not that good. Um, no, but truthfully, I would play often in coffee shops and bars to zero or one people, and I'll tell you this, it's actually easier to sing to zero people than one person, that's for sure. It seems counterintuitive, but playing to zero people is nice because then it's not awkward at all. Nobody knows. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, doesn't make a sound like they can. But if one person's around to hear it, it makes a very awkward sound. <laughs> it's just an awkward social thing, like you're playing, that person is there, and they don't want to be there, they want to go, but they can't leave until someone else comes. It's just like, I don't make the rules, you know? <laughs> and I would do this a lot, and it was like, it was like, they always want to say something nice at the end so you wouldn't feel too bad. I remember one time I played at this coffee shop to one guy afterwards, he was like, yeah, I don't feel so bad because sound waves last for like hundreds of years and even though no one's in this room right now, at some point this room will be full of people and your sound waves will be going through them and it's, it's going to be beautiful. It kind of made me feel better and then I talked to a scientist who told me that's not true at all. <laughs> he said they sound waves last about three seconds. <laughs> One night I remember I was in this town called Cedar City, Utah, it was southwest Utah, um, southeast Utah, so southwest, oh, I'm not very long, so. southwest Utah, near Vegas, and I was playing a two-hour gig at this coffee shop. One guy was there the whole time, this poor guy, he just wanted a scone on his Tuesday night, he didn't want to be like held hostage <laughs> at a crazy show, but that's what happened. It's very sweet, he was vlogging after each song, but he kept giving me this look like, as soon as someone else comes, I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, ain't nobody else coming. No, so. <laughs> he stayed the whole time, two hours. And after the set, he bought a CD. It was so nice. And then he said, do you have anywhere to stay tonight? And I was like, clearly, I don't. <laughs> he said, stay on my couch. And I did, it was very sweet. In the morning, he made me breakfast. It was just so much kindness. And you would think that that would lift me up, but still, I was still down on myself for all these shows to small audiences. And I remember I was walking to my van to leave and he ran outside and he stopped me and he said, John, wait. And I turned around and in his hand he was giving me a hundred dollar bill. And I remember in a moment of like low self-esteem and low self-worth, I was sad and I said, I can't take it. And he said, why not? And I said, because I'm not good enough. And, and he paused for a second and he was like, I'm not giving it to you because you're good. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> he was like, I'm giving it to you so you don't give up. And I was like, oh, I wasn't going to give up. Is it that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The point I'm trying to make is if there's something that you like to do that feels good to you and feels right, just do it. Man. Don't worry too much about who comes out. If you do it with heart and speak the truth, one thing I've learned is that one person turns into two people, two people turns into four people, and four people turns into eight people. The next thing you know, you're in the end. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
the last song, the moment of truth. If this one fails, what good did the rest of them do? And I'm trying to stay focused and stay in the moment. But all I can think about is if my fly has been open, I swore I'd check before I came on. Maybe that was last night now. I just can't recall. I'll ask you to check for me, but that would be asking a lot. So I'm just going to check real quick. You're doing it wrong, dissecting the bay, trying to find a song. It's a miracle that I'm here. Yeah. I don't trust the musician who's always complaining it's hard up here, but so is everything you know what my job was. Before I did this, I used to walk around parking lots, picking up trash. You know how many people paid to watch me do that? Zero. Always zero. My ticket sales were zero for my trash pickup job. Even if no one comes to this one, they still let me play guitar. I don't trust the musician. He's always complaining. Sometimes it's clear. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's the gorge, sometimes it's the garage. Get over yourself and be a goddamn child. Oh, y'all doing it wrong, dissecting the bird, trying to find a song. Yeah, it's a miracle that you're cute. When the candle flickers, when the days get dark, they come first world problems, but they still break your heart and the universe feels like it's against you. Just take a minute to realize all that it took to make you your parents had to meet. As random as that was, hang out long enough at least to make some love and make a baby and give you a name. And all your ancestors had to do the same exponentially backwards to the star of life. So much random shit had to happen. Just exactly right the sparks had to catch. Oceans had to freeze, buildings themselves had to survive. Endless disease, civilizations had to crumble. Wars had to get fought. Bad presidents had to get elected and good presidents had to get shot. People had to leave. Hearts had to get broken. People had to die. Just so your eyes could open the universe. Not against you, the universe. It's not against you, went through a lot just to give you a chance. Must have wanted you here. Pretty bad, no pressure though. No pressure though. The universe went through a lot in the hand, but no pressure, bro. You don't gotta be perfect, you don't gotta be a saint. Just don't waste it. This was not a mistake.